Hey everyone, welcome to Gamer Connect. My name is Decker, and today we're going to talk about a very serious topic, and that is Is Valorant going to kill CSGO? Riot Games, who are famous for their very popular game League of Legends, recently revealed their brand new FPS title, which is called Valorant. As soon as the game was revealed, people among the FPS community got hyped up and started stating that this game might slaughter all major FPS titles, including games like CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege. While the game itself almost seems like a combination of CSGO's game mechanics along with Overwatch type character pull and with abilities like that of League of Legends and Rainbow Six Siege. All of these aspects make the game a lot different than that of CSGO which directly obsolates the main question of the video. But that is not completely true. The game is basically a 5v5 battle between two teams where one of the teams wins by either planting and detonating the spike or by defusing it and also by eliminating the entire opponent team which is exactly what CSGO is all about. Guns in the game have a predefined spray pattern similar to few other FPS games which definitely includes CSGO. Now if we have a look at all the weapons available in the buy menu, most of them reminds us of the guns that are present in Counter Strike. The classic pistol is very similar to that of a P200 which is used in pistol rounds in CSGO and sometimes in the eco rounds as well. The frenzy feels and looks exactly like that of the CZ75. Then we have the ghost pistol which behaves like the 5.7 but has a silencer like the USPS. The sheriff pistol which although looks like the R8 revolver behaves much like that of a desert eagle. Next we have two SMGs the stinger which works well in close quarter combats like that of an mp9 while the spectre is a silent smg quite similar to that of an mp5 there are also two heavy machine guns namely Ares and odin which feels like m249 and negev from counter strike the bucky and judge shotguns are equivalent to nova and xm10 the bulldog which has two different fire modes auto and burst fire is similar to that of a farmers then we have the phantom which is a silenced rifle almost identical to that of the m4a1s the vandal which is the most powerful rifle in the game looks and behaves exactly like that of the ak 47. The Marshall sniper rifle is almost like the scout while the other heavy sniper rifle operator reminds us of the AWP. Although these guns might have their similarities to those from CSGO, veteran players who have played Counter Strike for thousands of hours have found noticeable variations in them. Like the Vandal which is similar to that of an AK-47 is much easier to play than the actual AK-47 while the AWP equivalent in the game is quite challenging to play with. Valorant also has an economy system which replicates that of Counter Strike. One of the very useful features of Valorant is the option to refund your weapons during the buy phase which makes the game much easier and contradictory to that of CSGO. At the beginning of each round along with weapons, players can also buy abilities. These abilities make the game feel a lot like League of Legends and Overwatch rather than CSGO. Like League of Legends, each character has 3 regular abilities along with an ultimate ability. These abilities work like smokes, flashes and incendiaries but have a heavier impact in the gameplay than that of CSGO. Now it is time to find out the answer to the question with which we started the video. Is Valorant going to kill CSGO? If we look at CSGO, it is a very straightforward game where players straight up go on gunfights against each other with a minimal use of utilities like flashes and smoke. On the other hand, Valorant is a game where you use a combination of weapons, abilities and other gadgets throughout the gameplay. Now there are lots of gamers who don't want their game to be this complicated while they just want to shoot and kill their opponents and have some fun. These are the people who wouldn't really want to permanently change their game to Valorant. Hence we can say that Valorant will not have any effect on the player count of Counter Strike or any other FPS games. Although being a new and quite exciting game, it will definitely have a huge player count which might also go off the charts once the game is fully released. That was it for the video. Let me know your thoughts about Valorant in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to GameConnect.in for more videos like this. This is Medakar. See you again in the next video.